Good evening, good morning, everyone who's gonna join me has joined me. Uh, okay, guys. Um, Coach Ray here from Lithuania, Vilnius, uh, the capital city of Lithuania. Um, in my hotel room, um, I arrived today for European Armistice Championship. So uh, let's wait for a few people to join in and uh, let's just talk about arm wrestling and what's what's happening today is pretty much interesting day it's a good day in arm wrestling world because we uh we had Lachlan and Ryan match a lot of people were looking forward to and we had uh, we will have Paul Lynn versus John Berzank where I think so many people are looking forward to that match so hey Richard uh I'm in Lithuania, Romania, World Championship is going to be in Romania. Um, hi guys, uh, good everyone that's joining up, but yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's start with the with Europeans. So, last year there was no European Armistice Championship because of the COVID and restrictions and everything, they just couldn't figure it out, but they finally did it and we will have Europeans. Uh some teams are not coming, and with restrictions, it's very hard for everyone to be here. So I'm expecting the smallest Europeans that I have seen in my lifetime. But nonetheless, the championship should happen this year, and it's happening, and we're happy with that. It should be at least, I think, 20-plus countries. We'll see tomorrow. So today is just like arrival day for most of the representatives that will be, um, you know, how to say they they will uh tomorrow we have to register team so as a president of Latvian Armistice Federation I'm here to register the team um get all the bookings uh go to the congress European Armistice Congress uh and technical meetings and all those things before the competitors arrive so today is Saturday here Sunday it's uh congress and and uh, some other meetings as well as team registration so Hey everyone who's joining in. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's uh, I'm I'm very happy to see a lot of a lot of faces I haven't seen for years for a year or two, and it's very very cool. You know, arm wrestling is big bar, big family, and I already met some people that uh, and they're like, oh, I didn't know you were here. You know, so it's fun. But um, yeah, Europeans very excited. Uh, team Latvia, we bring you 15 people team. Uh, 14 or 15 and uh, some of those guys are it's going to be their first championship Europeans and first this kind of level tournament because it's so near if if there would be no COVID restrictions we would brought like 30 people team at least and uh, it would be way better just for for guys just to check the level just to understand it when you have never been to European Armistice Championship I will say how like th- this is this is complete truth it, this is might be the hardest tested event on the planet. When you talk about Europeans, ah, uh, just lost my John Brzezing ball. Uh, when you talk about Europeans and WAF Worlds, the difference is in WAF Worlds, there are a lot more countries and usually the most talent is condensed here in Europe. So in world championships, sometimes you, you kind of will have a little bit easier road to the top. Europeans, you know, you get the killer after killer. And, um, and, and, and I think that, that, that is true, but, uh, either worlds or Europeans, they pretty much, they're, they're hard tournaments. Uh, I'm not talking about Zloty tour. There's no doping test there. It's, I think that's a different kind of level, but sometimes most of the time, especially in past years, the level of Zloty tour with all the problems with WAF and PL has dropped. So yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see who's going to be here. Um, yeah, I didn't think I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be, um, competing as well. Cause I, I, I really didn't want to, I, I, cause usually like we prepare, like it's three months of preparation and, um, it's, it's, uh, this time it was different because there was no time. So I had had basically I had a match. 
and then I took a week off, then I prepared for three weeks, then I had a match, then I took a week off, and it's like this. So I've been training for two weeks, but my arms feel really good. They feel actually better than they felt before armor. So Jan is just uh, just like, compete, just, you know. And we have one, one spot in class where I would go, that's 85 kilo class. So, um, yeah, no, I, I don't feel any pressure because I don't want to feel any pressure. I'm just going to go and compete and just be, you know, uh, we'll see how I do. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy, you know, to be there and uh, have competition in armor sling, do what I love. So, yeah, physically, I feel really good. Uh, my hands, I like everything feels way better than it felt before arm wars. Uh, and I feel like it, it felt way better in arm wars than it felt before Frode and just continuously kind of this system of, taking a week off by getting sick and then slowly getting back to training kind of works. And uh, I don't push it, but, you know, who knows? Don't don't be too disappointed. So, um, yeah, Brzezink versus Larat. I made a video. You can go and check that video and see my thoughts. The match is still seven weeks away. We'll see there. Um, yeah. John versus Paul. Like I said, I'm supporting Paul. Paul's my boy, but um, I think that it's it's going to be very hard for him to be John, especially John. If John just said that he will be Devon, uh, I think that's uh, that's a venomous version of of John Brzezink. But uh, if Paul wins, you know, then the hype of Devon versus John kind of loses everything, in my opinion. So I think you know, but yeah, I think it's John. John is. Amazing. So we'll see. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I either it's gonna be on on TV. If anyone knows in the chat, please tell tell everyone. Um, it's like in five hours from now. I might even w w wake up just to see. Yeah. Um, I don't see predictions about Larry versus Brandon or pulling King of the Table. I don't think I'm pulling on King of the Table. Yeah, they they haven't talked with me, so I I don't know what's going on with there. Uh, yeah, I think Larry is favorite in that match. I think Larry is really really good. He's he's looking very good. Uh, one of the best things that happened was two Georgians going there and just because they're savages, they train like savages, and you know Larry has no other thing to do than train like a savage and just go hard after it. And yeah. Yeah, so it's 11, uh, oh no, it's uh, maybe six or uh, five hours, six hours, maybe something like that. It's, um, I, I think my my clock is, yeah, six hours from now, if I'm correct with the time, I don't know that, I don't know that. Yeah, so it's uh, 10 p.m. for me, I guess 4 a.m., something like that. Yeah, what I wanted to talk, and let's get into this, is... Uh, is the comments under the video that I made after Lachlan and Ryan. So now <laughs> the funny thing is I saw the poll, poll where you where you vote who's going to win, change after the match have happened. More people voting that Lachlan will win. I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. It changed. So, yeah. Um, okay, uh, did you see, let's see some comments. Some some comments were pretty good and some comments, you, you know, I can talk about. Those were the ones I wanted to talk. <sighs> Bowen pin Lackey six times, but camera was too slow to record. Yeah. 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 Thumbs up, help the creators. Lachlan has done training with Bowen according to Grip and Rip. I don't know. I think... Uh, I don't think there's much bad blood, but uh, they will... They will... Uh, they will come to some agree. It was weird, you know, because they're, they're friends, you know. He, he was at his wedding and everything. So... 
if, if I'm facing one of my friends or something, what, what, what the comment that I just cannot find, but the, the thing was like, yeah, even though Ryan knew kind of he's going to lose, he created so much hype and, you know, the hype and hype and hype is good. But is it people put money on Ryan to win? In my opinion, with no good proof, with no, you know, there's there's nothing suggested otherwise. It's it's like the you know miraculous mir- miracle factor, you know, miraculously. I I don't know if I pronounced that word right, <laughs> but you know somehow he wins, and I think that's that's the problem um, with a lot of people. You know, the hype is good. You can always hype the match. You can have fun. You know, and the match will be big, and people will watch it. The match was big. It's it's really weird that a lot of people tune in to watch uh, two Australians fighting for number one rank in Australia, where you know, and and they wouldn't put the same pressure or same uh, interest on two Bulgarians doing the same, or even two Latvians doing the same, when everyone's have more title and is like more legit but yeah social media is very interesting and uh yeah the match because done it's yeah he's done what it needed to do um i know i don't know what how what's ryan gonna think of or gonna do now is he gonna go big because you know i don't know it's it's just weird i just don't think i just don't think you know he's he's not meant to be super heavyweight and you know the goals he said and all those things it's uh yeah but um it is what it is uh you bring cat with you mate no i didn't bring my cat here i'm i'm kind of lonely i wish i had a cat <laughs> but um yeah i was disappointed didn't see any kangaroos mm yeah, we would uh, a little more kangaroos. In essence, he's losing all his stars in Australian community. Yeah, yeah, you cannot go full heel and then expect different results. You know, you know, you cannot go full WWE and then expect when no one's kind of just want to hang out. Or uh, and Ryan is a nice person. You know, he he really is. Um, all all that matter. It was weird, you know. It, it was really weird, you know. They could have done it better, and it would still be big, as big as it was. So, yeah. Which big countries on here? So Georgians are banned. They cannot compete to uh, Europeans and Worlds this year. Um, maybe I'll f- figure out why. But uh, Russia, I guess I don't know if anyone from Russia because they didn't get the visa. They need a visa to get here, so I don't know if it's there. Um, yeah, who else? There was some, some, some. Oh, Turkey is not coming because Turkey wants to bring the best down for a world championship. So we'll see. What do you think, Master Lachlan has chance against Devon now? You, you, you guys are so drunk, you know, with these questions. You are so drunk. Like there's, there's, there's reality. You kind of just ignoring reality. Yeah. You would face Plumman in Sa- and Sasha in your class, dude. I think Plumman is an eighty-five kilo class. Yeah, he's looking really good. Uh, he should be one of the favorites there. Yeah. Lachlan maybe is top 20, but in 110 kilo class, not overall. You guys are, it's, it's, it's the casual fans. You really need to understand the difference. And the, the, someone's like, well, I, I think Lachlan should, no, Lachlan should be facing Irakli in Dubai for a match or something like that. Irakli is 95 puller. Lachlan is almost 10 kilo, 20 kilos heavier. From a sense of making a match, it's fine, but there's no, you know, if Lachlan wins, he won by being bigger guy, uh, and not in his class, being someone from lower class. If if Irakli wins, Irakli won 
a heavier guy that just brings him way more down, you know. So you need to understand there are weight classes and they matter. They matter, you know. Uh, there are extraordinary pullers that can pull outside their weight classes. Pound for pound, great. But it's they are not that much and it's the difference is big, you know. Yeah. Hey, I'm not drunk. Respect, I'm new in this really nice arm missing weed. <laughs> okay. Opinion of possible Ryan Rockley match. I don't see being all balanced. No, I think Iraqli is... Dude, like... A, until Ryan really shows that he's legit and elite, then uh, I will have better opinions on or make... Because now, like, uh, we're talking about... 75 vice champion of the world who gave a good match to Sasha who's uh, just destroyed uh, pretty much uh, uh, Dan Mosier you know you know mm-hmm. Minda I think 70 hey really Daniel Minda August I don't know I think 75 both of them Ray, do you agree the king of the table is just grabbing social media guys? Iraqli was trying this a bad joke. I think Iraqli is there and they just wanted some big match, the popular match, the people who tune in. I, I don't think they need all of those matches. They can just they can have good matches, like not but closer pairs. Because the big match attraction is already there, Devon and John. So people will just buy for that. And it's just a small bonus. So yeah, I I don't think you need every match to be that kind of match because the audience is the same. It will not pull different audiences. When it when it's different audiences that are being pulled to buy the pay per view, then in my head it makes sense. But yeah, you know, see. Vrej, yeah, great example. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Giannis pull. Giannis uh, might pull in worlds in Europeans. Uh, like uh, he didn't feel like he's ready uh, and prepared for this, and uh, it kind of wasn't in a plan because we went to Almors. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not enough strong people in Australia, so people these peeps fed Ryan delusions that he is elite. Yeah, it happens with um, with young countries. With young countries that just starting the sport where it hasn't really been established, they kind of live in their own bubble. And that is a problem. And if everyone should recognize it. That's the one of the worst things that can happen. You never know how strong you are until you, if you just stay in your home. You know, uh, more you go out, more you figure it out, more you see the level, more you understand what you need to add and things like that. So, um, you, I, I will never believe anyone who just says they're strong. I either have to see it, not even sometimes feel it, because you know, feeling someone's feeling someone on table can be deceiving, depending on day and all those things. But it's just testing, testing a few times, and then you have full picture how strong this guy is, who he should be pulling against, and what level he is, and that's that's problem with uh, Australians right now. The strong dude, I think. Ryan is the number two guy right there, but uh, <laughs> and uh, Chris Gamo, yeah. Would you say that Ryan is ranked number two in Australia now, or do you not know if he's secured second spot? I think he's number two. I think, um, yeah. I, from the active arm wrestlers, he for sure is. There's some guys that can give him trouble, in my opinion, from heavyweights. But in his weight class, uh, if Jordan improves a lot, he could be the one that gives him trouble. But, yeah. Coach, my daughter beat me in super match again, 6-0. If, if I buy some cats, uh, will this help me with this? Yes, you need to adopt the cats. Don't, don't, don't buy the cats. Go, just go and adopt them. Uh, what about the Rockley weighing 120 kilos? 20 kilos in a few years but he's not what about Iraqli weighing what does that question even means dude um, any matches for you yeah we'll see in Europeans right here okay Ryan is the king of amateurs I don't know he's a pro armor sir he's a pro armor sir 
is it true that Latvian training method is about 35 40 working sets per workout with very high training frequency pretty much Ryan will always make sense of any pay-per-view so many people now tune in for the pleasure of watching him lose it's appeal now my worry for him is that he keeps on losing um yeah yeah a lot of people want to see him lose that should come with that you know um uh, yeah. his kid beat him the car afterwards his kid beat him the car <laughs> okay his kid yeah makes sense iraq lewis that hutchings would be fun in dubai what do you think ray I think that would be an interesting match because Irakli for sure could take Todd's hand, but I don't think he can finish him. You know? Yeah. Who was best in 70 kilo class in the world? Kind of silly, but still one more. Uh, it's up for grabs. You know, maybe Young Zaluyev, maybe Arthur, maybe Giannis. Maybe Megjan, you know, there's there's a lot of guys in the conversation. We will figure it out in two weeks. Yeah. Coach, who wins in Super Match for the home one or who? Who be honest? Uh, uh, ha ha ha! Almost got me there. Uh, okay. Oleg Jok practice in this tournament. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe uh, Oleg is back. He might be. He really might be. Anyone in here from UK? I just met uh, David Sheed, referee. Oleg Jokaso is 70 kilos. I don't think he... I, like, I haven't seen him be competing in Worlds Europeans in 75. Yeah. <laughs> you look tired, man. I yeah, it was really long day. Got uh, up super early, five a.m. Uh, I took a nap for an hour, then ate, then uh, just chilling. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go t go and go sleep. And uh, tomorrow I have to I have to wake up pretty early. And uh, yeah, yeah. Do you know Vladimir Mayorov is still competing? Uh, yeah, he's still competing. <laughs> yeah. When coming to India, coach? I don't know. Who are competing from Latvia? Sanders, who's in the chat right now. Vlad, Marats, Kaspers. Um, we have Junior, Kristaps. We have few Masters. Uh, Anz Greenbergs, Anz Zorix, um we, we have at least 14 people, so, yeah. I'm gonna pull, bro. Yeah, I think Slovakia is competing. Okay, guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Who wins, Ramon Antonovic or the Vlad the Destroyer? Raimond's looking scary right now. Yeah, Raimond's is looking scary right now, that I would even... You know, if, if you asked me a few months ago, I would say Vlad. Now I would say, oh, I would say Raimonds. Yeah, Raimonds is looking ridiculous. Uh, yeah, Raimonds is pulling with Petrenko next week. Uh, we trained with Raimonds together for up until my Armour Super Match, not for these weeks, but. Uh, <sighs> It's, it's, uh, I'll say how this. Raymond is not the favorite in that match. He's facing young, strong Petrenko that looked just incredible when he won Zlatý Tour. But Raymond's like, he put in a lot of work all this time since the match was announced 2020. He put in a lot of work. Basically, no, no skipping. He's in absolutely best shape that I have ever seen him, you know. So if he still loses, you know, he basically put in work, tried to get everything done, and uh, I'm 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 there to support him. Yeah. Yeah. How schedule looks? So tomorrow is registration and congress. Monday is the weigh-ins for juniors. Um, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday it's left hand juniors, Monday, if, Wednesday it's right hand juniors, weigh ins for masters, uh, Thursday, masters, left arm, Friday, masters, right arm, weigh ins for seniors, and then we finish the week Saturday and Sunday uh, with seniors, which means open classes. So, yeah. Official jumpers and ball. Is there steam stream for your your arm? Yes, um, it should be on MOF official YouTube channel. Like every year, it is. So we'll start with juniors. Two days juniors, starting from Tuesday and Wednesday, then Masters, and then yeah. Oh, Cobra Rhodes in the chat. What's up, Cobra? Yeah. Um. So. If you are not sleeping like I am, but I will try to wake up and just to watch it. If anyone knows on what channel the live stream for Paul and John gonna be uh, posted in a in a com in the chat right now, I, I want to watch it. And um, yeah, I guess I see Legend supporting another Legend, uh, John Cobra. Cheers. It's a road of giant pancake. No, oh, you're right. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I want, just wanted to do a quick small chat. I will maybe brief you guys on what's happening on on Europeans. I don't think it's been talked too much about, and it's one of the hardest things on the planet. Doesn't matter you are junior, master, senior, you know, whatever class you are, it's pretty much yeah. For for luck on much, not skipping sleep anymore. Foo, son, you woke up for for Ryan and Lachlan, not for John and Paul, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, if I'm not lazy enough, I will wake up and I will do what everyone else, what no one else is doing, live commentary. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, guys. Stay strong. Love Armstrong. Boom.